Sorry, sorry. Good evening and welcome to worship. It's good to be joining you this evening. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. First, uh, communion supplies for Christmas Eve and candles are here at the church. So stop in sometime during the day, about nine to noon, and uh, come, come pick them up. They'll be here for you. Also, just a quick shout out. Uh, it is Sue Angstrom's 80th birthday today. So if you see Sue, Wish her a happy birthday. Take a moment to prepare our hearts for worship. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who had a terrible day. She left her lunch at home. She skinned her knee on the playground, and no one wanted to sit with her on the bus. As she sank into her mother's arms at the end of the day, her mother said, Honey, what was the best part of today? The little girl cried and said, Nothing. The entire day was terrible. So the mother got down on one knee, wiped away her tears, and said, There's always some good. Sometimes we really just have to look for it. The little girl looked up at her mom and said, What is good about today? And the mother said, For starters, you're here in my arms. Friends, any time we gather together to worship God, we are here in God's arms. So may we recognize that gift, and in doing so, May we sow joy. Let us worship holy God. People of this, the time is Love the Lord is on the way. 
I dream of dance parties in the kitchen. I dream of laughter that is contagious. I dream of birthday candles and another beautiful year. I dream of family game nights and dinner parties with friends. I dream of homemade Halloween costumes and homemade family recipes. I dream of pillow fights, fireflies, and front porch swings. I dream of every little thing that brings joy, and I know it comes from God. So today, we light the candle of joy as a reminder that God's dream for this world involves the end of all tears. God's dream for this world involves a joy that overflows and is contagious. So may this fire burn bright, and as it does, may we sing. May we dance. May we laugh. May we hold on to the people we love. May we sow joy in a hurting world, and may it be an act of holy resistance. Amen. Creator God, scripture is flooded with dreamlike images. The lion lying down with the lamb. Justice rolling like a mighty river. Swords, Swords being beaten into, into plowshares. The prisoner being set free. Good, Good news to, to the oppressed. oppressed. The whole world rejoicing. To, to our, our human, human ears, ears, there are times when these words can sound like nothing more than, than a far-off far dream, dream, downplaying prophecy to fantasy. However, what we know is that to dream is to hope. And, and to hope is to, to imagine. And to imagine is to wonder. And, and to wonder is to believe. And to believe is to live and breathe for your promised day. So give us the strength to listen as we dream, O oh God. For deep down, we know your words are the very thing we need. Amen. Amen. The following reading is from Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He, he has, has sent, sent me to bring, bring good, good news to the, to the oppressed, oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort, to comfort all, all who mourn. mourn. To provide for those who mourn in Zion. To, to give, give them a garland, a garland instead of ashes. The oil of gladness instead of mourning. The mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They, they will, will be, be called, called oaks of righteousness. righteousness the planting of, of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They, they shall, shall repair, repair the ruined cities, the, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will, I will faithfully, faithfully give, give them, them their, their recompense, recompense and, and I, I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All, All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth begins forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up. So the Lord God will call righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Langston Hughes.
great poet of the Harlem Renaissance had a lot to say about dreams, particularly the dreams of black and West Indian communities in America. Although the American dream all too often turned out to be a nightmare for many in these communities who had to combat racism and xenophobia, Hughes warned against letting all dreams die. His most famous poem on the subject is probably Harlem, which begins with the question, what happens to a dream deferred? But the point is also made in his poem, Dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. In a year when all our dreams have been deferred, we may become cynical about dreams. We may regard dreaming as nothing more than a wasteful luxury, but dreams are at the heart of what it means to be human. They get us out of bed every morning, ironically. They keep us from succumbing to despair. Our dreams directly translate into what we do. The prophets also dreamt. Their dreams, however, tapped into the very dreams of God. God's dream at the beginning was the creation of a harmonious world, of harmony between genders, between humans and the rest of creation, between humans and that of the creator. But that dream devolved into a nightmare. Our dreams fell out of sync with those of the creator. But God did not stop dreaming. God chose one family to be the means of blessing and salvation for the entire earth. That family, that of Abraham, was far from perfect. Sibling rivalry and terrible choices threatened to undo everything. The captivity in Egypt seemed to all but guarantee Israel's dissolution and assimilation. But God did not stop dreaming. The people were brought into Canaan with the express purpose of being God's unique people, a light to the nations. However, the nightmares of empire, love of wealth, and the turning of the people's hearts to other gods caused the people to forget the promise. The dream seemed to come to a brutal, brutal and decisive end with the destruction of the, the Jerusalem temple and the dissolution of the Davidic monarchy. But God did not stop dreaming. And then God came to us personally in the man Jesus. The powers that be wanted nothing of God's mercy and forgiveness. They saw Jesus as a threat and had him killed. But God did not stop dreaming. I could go on. Time and time again, human beings have tried wittingly or unwittingly to derail God's dream of the redemption of the cosmos. But God has always kept that dream alive. That dream, as the prophet restates it, is the liberation of the prisoners, the proclamation of good news to the oppressed, and comfort to all who mourn. Even if we lose faith in the dream, God keeps it alive, and not just alive, but thriving. God never stops dreaming, dreaming about our liberation from sin and death, dreaming about our growth into the image of God's Son, dreaming of our new life. There are many pulls and pressures that may make us want to give up on the dream, but God always keeps the dream alive in our hearts and invites us to continue to be dreamers with God. We're nine days away from Christmas, the day when the dream of a Messiah became a reality. In this time, God continued to help us dream, not as a way to escape our world, but to delve more deeply into it and into God's love for us. Amen. angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman
shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your grace, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. God, we are in awe of you. We will never know how you manage to dream up mountains and valleys. Freckles, dimples, and curly hair. A cool morning mist. The change of seasons. Or the magic of music. Your greatness is beyond our reckoning. And because we are in awe of you, we must believe we must, believe we must follow Mary's lead. And, and allow our souls to sing. We believe that the appropriate reaction to your goodness is, is complete, complete gratitude, gratitude, which looks like love for our neighbor, justice, justice for, for the, the poor, poor, food for the hungry, and, and joy that overflows. And even though we do not always believe in ourselves, we, we believe, believe that, that our song is pleasing to you. you. We believe. Help our unbelief. In, in Christ's, Christ's name, name we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. For the peace from above, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. For the baptized people of God, and for their varied ministries within the church, especially our bishops, our staff, and our council, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are poor, hungry, homeless, or sick, especially those affected by COVID, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ, our Lord. To, to you, O oh Lord. Great and merciful God, source of ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father in, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and, and thanks to you. May the Creator bless us and keep us. May Christ the Lord be with us. May the Spirit of God be our Serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.